so what is going on everybody my name is Mehul and welcome to your 18th tutorial for electron framework and in this tutorial we're gonna do a little bit of CSS and uh, add the buttons for re-uploading or restarting the app and uh, saving the image right so what we can do is inside preview window we can see that this is the ID image preview right and uh, we can say here useful buttons and uh, we can pretty much make a button like uh, uh, um, let's just say change and div what we had in original and save okay so now actually i want to change the colors a little bit for our header we have the background as black let's just make it three five three five three five and uh, yeah let's just take a look uh, what do we have in here electron dot right so we open a file we get these two buttons we're just gonna take a look at that later we can actually edit this done button as well this looks extremely ugly right now so we can say that this background is actually this one and its color is the slider one right and we can say font weight bold okay looks fine dot go back and we are gonna replace this now let's just quickly do the change and the save stuff so we're gonna search for change and inside useful buttons what we can do is or rather for the preview we have flex direction of row right so we can do for useful buttons as a align items align self stretch and uh, I guess we are gonna make use of uh, column here instead of row but that would probably okay so let's just break this code so where we are right here we are gonna copy this thing for preview this is good for moist control we need this as column uh, we do not need this now so we can say that we do not want this or rather let's just reload this for once e1 and uh, looks like I did the wrong one column should be here instead of there right there there we go all right so finally right now we can just go to header or not really header main content preview useful buttons we can say align self stretch display flex color white and uh, for the div inside them we can say that uh, justify content center align item center padding 10 pixel 20 pixel margin 10 pixel background again we can give anything you want what this is hash three five three five three five and color white could be done cursor pointer and there we are so there we go 
for this thing right and then finally what we just need to do is pretty much say div ng click change and uh, for this div ng click save so we can go to our script and finally say scope dot change this function which just says location dot path is home and scope dot save is a function where the magic goes right so we're gonna need location here as well so yeah if we take a look now we open a file e1 we set the brightness we set the contrast we set the i don't know sepia okay and now i don't like it i'm gonna change it so i go back to the main page i select e2 and we're getting a new file so that is how pretty much how the logic for change would go and for the save I'm gonna do that in the next video because that is going to be a bit tricky and uh, we'll see how we can implement that so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then in the next one